I, I wonder if we can briefly mention, uh, only because we had kind of covered it last week, and uh, just the 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 Satchwell uh, case, uh, because obviously the matter happened on Saturday, which was Richard Satchwell uh, appeared in court and he was charged with the murder of his wife, Tina. Now, similarly, this is another case that is now before the courts and we are again limited as to what we can say. I see that there has been a lot of commentary online in particular in relation to this. People have opinions, can't stop them. But I wanted to bring this up only because, and this is an entirely separate matter, it's nothing to do with the Ashley Murphy trial, I just want to point that out. Uh, but, and I saw you getting into it a little bit on social media as well, just in general, that uh, people maybe necessarily don't understand the process of, of, of how things work in the courts. Look, I think we have to be fair to people to some, this is just my opinion, you know, you don't expect everybody to understand the, the the law to the letter of the law. And there maybe was a little bit of confusion about what happened on Saturday. So I just want to clear this up that Mr. Satchwell was not arraigned. He did not plead in this case. He has not even been asked to indicate a plea in this case. Uh, but what happened on Saturday was Richard Satchwell was charged before Cashel District Court with the murder of his wife, Tina. And in general, at this early stage in any trial, uh, a, a Garda, the prosecuting Garda who would have issued the charge against the accused, gives evidence of arrest, charge and caution. And so he gave the evidence that uh, Mr. Sashwell was, uh, was arrested and then he was charged with the murder at around, I think it was eight o'clock in the evening uh, on uh, last Friday. And uh, they, he then gave evidence of what did the accused say after after he was charged after caution. Now, generally speaking, in a case, you often hear uh, how a person would make no reply uh, or they might make uh, basically whatever they say in that moment after caution can be said uh, once it's said in court. And in this case, Mr. Satchwell said guilty or not guilty, guilty. And the judge actually asked uh, the the, the guard in question to repeat that and again he said guilty or not guilty guilty so people might have thought or misinterpreted that uh mr satchwell was asked are you guilty or not guilty he the, the words are guilty or not guilty guilty that's what he said after caution it does not mean he has pled in this case whatsoever so just want to point that out to people but i understand maybe how there was some confusion or there could be confusion on that so i do <laughs> i don't necessarily give out to people but i would again it's another classic case of just cautioning people to be careful on social media about commenting on cases uh you know that's at its very early stage that's all i'd say